All right, YouTube. This is a quick video on how to remove a truck bed from a, probably an 87 to a 96, but I think from 80 up to 96 would probably cover most or all these trucks. F-150, F-100, F-250. So basically the bed's already off, as you can see. It is sitting over there. And it's pretty simple. And you can actually do it yourself. And I will title the video, Remove Bed By Yourself. Um, so basically there are six bolts that hold it in. And I'm gonna point to where the bolt holes are. First one's here, and I'll see over here. The second ones are here. And there. And then the last two are up front which I still have the bolts in that I have to cut out, but that's pretty much it. So you take those six bolts out. Um, then the next thing's gonna be to remove the wiring, which is just two clips here and here. Uh, that wiring harness runs right behind, the, right below the tailgate across to just to operate the taillights. So if you want to, you can remove the taillights, remove that wiring harness, which you can see behind the Buick is one strand of wire with four bulbs and two plugs. Once you do that, the last two things are going to be to remove the filler necks from the bed, which you hold on by three screws that, that screw into the where the bed is... Uh, where you put the gas in and like I said on this one is also three one two three now some of these trucks do come with a single tank so that would just eliminate one of those that's pretty much it once you get the bolts out and all the wiring off and the, the uh, filler necks down below the bed and the wiring that's it then you can lift it up slowly you can start I would suggest you lift it up from the passenger side and just kind of drag it slowly across until you can tip the bed over and off it took me a while to get the bolts ground off because obviously they were so rusted that I could not get the uh, the bolts to unscrew and they they round off and they just strip so you're right off grinding the heads off from the top where the beds at and then pounding them through to get the bed bolts out that's pretty much it guys you could do it by yourself I completely removed it once the, the bed was ready to come off, I took it off in maybe about six minutes. Um, just make sure there's no little kids around or pets or whatever to, uh, you know, in case the bed does decide to go uh, a direction and you can't stop it. But I dragged it very slowly, very controlled, and completely safe. Um, nothing was hurt. The truck cab wasn't damaged. Didn't break any glass. Didn't gouge any of the concrete, anything like that. So pretty safe. Fairly easy, straightforward. You can do it. And any questions or comments, you can just send me a link or ask me it directly on the, the video link. All right. Have a great day, guys. Be safe.